Once upon a time a village and man came to Buddha and asked him to make him his disciple. Buddha said to that person, you have one whole day and night to become my disciple. You will have to spend time in the crematorium and whatever you learn there, come and tell me only after that. I will make you my disciple. Hearing this, the man got scared and said to Buddha, okay, but it would be dangerous to stay there all night. Buddha said, how? Danger. The man said that there will be ghosts there and they will catch and kill me. Buddha asked, have you seen ghosts? The person said, no, but I have heard and I have also seen some people in whom ghosts come and they do strange things. It seems then Buddha said, then you have this golden opportunity to know that the ghost, whether ghosts exist or not, spend a night there and analyze and tell whether ghosts exist or not. Ghosts exist or not. If you find them, you analyze them to see if they are there. How are they? And if you don't find them, then you will also know that they are not there. So don't worry. Whatever happens there, please come and tell me. That person said, Okay, Gurudev. If you say, I will spend a whole day and night in the crematorium. Buddha said, Okay. Now you rest in the ashram and leave for the cremation ground tomorrow morning. Then Buddha said in his told the four mirrors that the person will go to the crematorium tomorrow. You all follow him and keep an eye on him. Take care of him, but remember that he should not know that you all have gone after him. Next day, that person went to Buddha and said, I am going to the crematorium as you said. I am leaving, Buddha said to that person. Okay, now you can go. Yes. When that person returned the next day, this Buddha, he smiled and said with a smile that you spent a whole day there. What did he see and what did he learn? The person said, I went there early in the morning and after some time, I saw that some people were coming with a beer, some people were normal and some people were very happy. He was saying that the person has done good deeds and is very lucky. After laying the dead man on a leopard, his son set his father on fire, stood there for some time, then one by one everyone started leaving. After some time there, two more beers came in which one beer belonged to a rich person, and there were many people in it while the other beer was of a poor person, which was very simple, and there were only a few people in it. The funeral pyre of the rich person was burnt on sandalwood, while that of the poor person was burnt on sandalwood. The pyre was lit with ordinary wood. First the pyre of the rich person was lit because he was rich, while later the pyre of the poor person was lit. After some time, the pyres of both the persons were burnt, after which everyone left from there. But I stood there alone and kept looking at him. Buddha said, you saw his leopard? What did you understand after seeing the person? He said, Lord, the leopard of both of them was the same. The body and water of that leopard remained the same. After that, both of them got burnt and in the end. Except it was the same. There was nothing different in it. O oh Buddha, after that, there was a woman. The funeral procession arrived and the woman's husband was very sad and all the people who came there were also very sad. Everyone was giving peace to her husband, O Buddha, in that I saw that many people were quite, the knowledgeable people were there, talking about knowledge and saying that everyone has to come here one day. Ultimately, we all have to go to the crematorium one day. After that, no one comes there, and I stayed there the whole night and came to you the next morning. Buddha asked if you did not see any ghost there. He said, I was afraid of myself the whole night. I was afraid of the leaves. I was afraid of the sounds of animals, but the whole night I could not hear anyone. No ghosts were seen. Buddha said to that person, okay, now you go and rest in the ashram. Tomorrow you will have to go to the crematorium to spend a night. The person heard here and said, what are you talking about? On your request, I will stay there the whole day. How would I have spent my time staying there? Only I know that now I am the same again, I will not go. Buddha said, Look, whatever special thing you want to get there, you will get it. You haven't found me yet. Go there for one more day, and you will definitely find me there. The person says, okay, I will leave once more as per your request. 
Saying this, he... The person went to the ashram and started resting. The next day, the person again received the blessings of Buddha. He took it and went away from there after spending a whole day and night and came back the next day. Buddha came to Buddha and asked the person if you have found that thing and the person said, yes, I found it. Buddha asked, so tell me what you found there, that person, said, I saw that some people were carrying me on the beer in the evening, some, 152. People were walking and they were carrying me on their four shoulders. My father was walking ahead. People are throwing flowers at me and some of my relatives are following me and they, people are very sad. My father and brother are also very sad. Some of them are. Some people are pretending to be sad while some people are consoling my father somewhere away. My brother is standing very sad and some people are trying to console him and say that you are the one who, if you are the only heir of the family, then some people are saying that this poor boy is still young. He had not even seen anything yet, and such an incident happened to him. Then I realized that, but he was laid down and all the rituals started to be performed, and I was here on the bier. I was lying there, watching. I tried to get up from that bier, but I could not get up. I wanted to breathe, but I couldn't breathe because there was no breath inside me. I wanted to hug my father but I couldn't get up. I wanted to hug my brother, wanted to tell him that you take care of your parents, but I was just lying there and showing. I couldn't say anything. After that, sticks were being decorated on my cheetah. My mouth was also covered. Now nothing could be seen beyond that sheet. Then after that, I started feeling heat. Then I saw that I was being burnt. My hands and legs were burning. My bones, skin, and everything was burning. Gradually, the fire increased more and more. I wanted to get up from there. I was suffocating. I wanted to breathe. I wanted to, but I was unable to do anything. I was completely lost in that fire. And I watched myself burn like that all night long. I saw that finally I had only, only my ashes are left. Neither was I afraid, nor did I feel any fear that whole night. I don't know where I was lost the whole night, and in the morning I came to you. Buddha smiled and said that now you can join the Sangha and become my disciple. Can and to actually have meditation and knowledge, the seed of meditation must be present within. That's the seed you found there last night when you learned that everything here is perishable. Every person in the world, after going to the crematorium, sees that everyone. The person has to come here, but as soon as he comes out from there, he forgets all this. They go and then live their life in the same way do the same deeds and commit the same wrongdoings. They behave in the same way, they are greedy in the same way, they show cruelty in the same way, and just as the crematorium. Everyone becomes religious when you go to the crematorium for the first time. You too were like those wise people. Like all the great wise people come there as if you went there again and came back today, you also have the seed of knowledge inside you. We cannot understand our life unless we understand death. Know that only the person who is sick can understand the importance of health. The seed of meditation which you got last night. Now you have to make it your goal and such a huge goal will arise within you which will make everyone aware of meditation, will be fulfilled with desires. Here is the story of the time when Alexander's victory journey was going on. He had come out of Sunya in his small kingdom with the dream of conquering the whole world. He had conquered Athens. He had also conquered Nan. Then one day, someone told him that there lives a fakir named Donage on the bank of a river. It is said that great emperors pale in comparison to him. He lies naked on the sand on the bank of the river. Hearing this, Alexander said in a loud voice, What is this? The man with him says that, the interesting thing is that he has nothing. He doesn't even have clothes. He is naked. He lies there and yet he is having fun. And that is the most amazing thing about him. Hearing this, Alexander says that if it is so, then we will definitely meet that Fakir. And he next day early in the morning, he takes his horse and goes to the bank of that river. Reaching there, he sees a naked Fakir lying comfortably on the sand. It was a winter day. It was sunny early in the morning and the sun was falling directly on his face. Sikandar goes to him and stands in front of him and asks, What about your, what is there that makes you so happy? 
Hearing this, Dionysus replied while lying on the sand, Gives that you have everything? Are you happy to hear this answer? Sikandar was stunned. He had not expected such an answer. The first thought that came to Sikandar's mind was, Let me tell you, the emperor said with a smile on his face. You are right. I have everything. Only happiness is not there. Then Dionysus says, Then what is the relation between having everything and having happiness? And if after everything you are still able to see that you are not happy, even then you are going to conquer bigger empires of the world with the hope that you will get happiness, then you are the most stupid person in the world. To avoid the matter, Sikandar brought a small smile on his face. Later, Deanna says that he has been seeing big weapons going through the road for a long time. Thousands of soldiers are going, where are you going and what is your intention? Alexander says that first he will conquer Central Asia and then he will be called the Golden Bird. Hearing this, Danny asks, what after that? Wala Hindustan Jayatunga. Will you do it, Alexander says, I just want to win everything in the end and rest completely. Hearing this, Denise called his dog with a loud voice. His dog was lying comfortably in the hut. He said, come here and listen. Have you ever seen any mad person? Is it not? Then see this. He pointed towards Sikandar and said that first I, I will come back after conquering the whole world and then live comfortably. And on the other side, we have something. But still he is living comfortably and happily. Then he talks to his dog, says that we made a mistake we should have won the whole world first. And then Diani started laughing out loud, saying that he should have rested. Sikandar felt that Danij was laughing at him. After that, Danij said inside, said that if you want to live comfortably and happily, then even without resources, you can live comfortably. And I am the biggest proof of this, if you want to live comfortably. So come, take off your clothes and lie down next to me. Our hut is very big. We, all three, can live comfortably in it. Come, come and lie down next to me. Alexander, after hearing, says, Thanks for the invitation, but I don't have the courage to go to the river. I lie naked on the shore. The world says that Alexander is the most courageous man in the world, but today I say that the most courageous man in the world is Danij. In the next life, I would like to be born as Danij, and not as Alexander. Hearing this, Dijun said, You can do this in this birth itself. Yes, you can still do it, after that Sikandar said. But how can I return from the middle now? I will have to go to conquer the world, but I will definitely return and meet you. Hearing this, I will definitely come back here and meet you. Danny laughed out loud and said that the world's, the journey is never complete and one who has to return has to return midway. It happens because when the journey of life begins, there is no understanding, and when the journey is completed, if it happens, then the time has already passed. Hence, whoever has returned till now is midway. I have just returned from, and what hope can I have if life is complete and the journey is over, then you will come. You will not be able to get it, Alexander says. No, this will not happen. I will definitely return and come back. I will definitely meet you when I return. I promise you this. Hearing this, Denise said in his heart, it says to the dog that you are listening. It is promising us. Although the humans promise what is trust, when there is no trust in a person's life, then he feels that the world works according to him. Finally, before leaving, Alexander says that I am very happy to meet you. I will never be able to forget such a courageous and fearless man that I have met in my life. Don't you see, I am a great emperor? Tell me what can I do for you? After hearing this, Danny says that there is nothing left for me to do. I have to do everything first. Yes, if you want to do something, then a work, stand next to me. There was bright sunshine on my face, but you, you stood as a hindrance in me, and you have to stand. Move aside and stand. Just this much kindness. Do it on me. There was an accident from above, but from inside, Sikandar was crying and went away from there, Danny's. This thing had hurt his heart. The inner wound had already happened. This thing hurt him. 
She said that there is a beggar who has nothing but still he is happy. And on the other hand, I am there. I have no glimpse of happiness even after having everything his commander saw that there was a smile on Alexander's face. After that he, after conquering Central Asia, he sets out on a victory march and faces a fierce battle with Paolo. There is a war and after winning it, while returning back, Alexander is seen in the city of Delon. Dies mysteriously, but before dying, Alexander thinks of Dionysus. He must have thought that the naked fakir had told him to take rest now. Who knows whether you will be able to return or not, because the journey of this world is never complete. And now that fakir dog would be laughing at me. I wish I had stopped at that time. I would have understood what he said at that time, but it is a matter of coincidence that the day Sikandar died. An hour later, Danij and his dog also died. Ancient Greek stories wrote, it happened that, while going to heaven, Alexander and Danij met again on the banks of River Vadni. We met. Alexander was leading because he had died an hour earlier, and Kaniz was behind him. He was walking because he died an hour later. While walking ahead, Alexander heard someone's footsteps. He heard a noise, and he looked back and he got scared seeing Dianic because today, Alexander was also without clothes when Diana first met Alexander. There he was naked, and Alexander was covered in his royal clothes, but today Alexander was also naked, and Danage was already naked. Alexander asked that fakir. Looking at him, he said, Danes, it is a wonderful thing that a king and a hearing this, he met the fakir on the banks of the river, and Danny starts laughing loudly and it says that you are still not able to see who is the king and who is the fakir. Where? Where are your royal clothes? Where are your soldiers? Where are your weapons? Did you not bring your jewelry with you? Hearing this, even Alexander, tries to laugh out loud, but he can't. Then Danis tells him that, throughout your life you have collected for yourself what you are bound to lose after death. You cannot bring anything with you, you collected such things even if you traveled all over the world. You won, but which corner of the world have you brought me along with you? Show up, and I already left the things to be missed, and remember what's behind. There are things to be left behind. If they are left on their own, then it hurts a lot. But if you leave them in the first place, then that becomes happiness for you. I have collected in life only that which cannot be released even after death, and you have always. He gathered that everything is left behind. Hearing this, Alexander says that that day also I had told you one thing, and even today I am repeating your words again that in my next birth, I will be Alexander. I would like to be born not as a, but as a Danage, and saying this, Sikandar turned back, starts walking towards heaven, and Danage watches him go from behind. We are busy collecting small things. This is what we are talking about. Car, house, wealth, all those things which are going to be left behind, we will never forget those things. What is eternal that will follow us and survive death? Have you ever wondered what is that thing that you have only collected heavy things but you're, you have not yet started the inner journey? That's why you don't have the answer to this question, what do you think when such a great emperor could not take anything with him? What will you be able to take with you? How stupid these things sound. How blind these people are. We are not able to see the truth, even knowingly we are not able to see it unknowingly. It was a distant matter, if you understand the point here, then your difference start torturing. Start collecting things that will stay with you even after death.